Materials Engineering Review, Past Exam, Part 1 by Engineer Pogs. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. Number 1. In quartering of soil sample or soil aggregates, what quarter should be retained for testing? Kapag meron tayong soil sample, hati natin siya sa gitna at hati natin ulit yung dalawang sample into half at ang ititake natin for sample ay yung two adjacent side at itatapon na natin or i-discard yung natirang soil sample. Therefore, the answer is letter C, two adjacent quarters. Number two, moisture content determination of soil gives the following results. The weight of container plus wet soil is equal to 120 grams. Weight of container is equal to 70 grams. Weight of container plus dry soil is equal to 108 grams. The moisture content is... The following given in the problems are listed below. Weight of container plus wet soil, 120 grams. Weight of container plus dry soil is equal to 108 grams. And the weight of container is 70 grams. The formula for the moisture content is equal to weight of water over weight of soil multiplied by 100%. Solving for the value of the weight of wet soil, isusubtract lang natin sa kanya yung weight of container that was equal to 120 grams minus 70 grams equal to 50 grams. Next is the weight of dry soil equal yun sa 108 grams minus 70 grams equal to 38 grams. Then we can now solve for the weight of water, which is equal to weight of wet soil minus weight of dry soil. Weight of water is equal to 50 grams minus 38 grams equal to 12 grams. And we can now solve for the moisture content of the soil. Weight of water is equal to 12 grams as we computed over weight of soil or dry soil, which is 38 grams multiplied by 100% is equal to 31.58%. Therefore, the answer is letter B, 31.58%. Number 3. The weight of air-dried soil is 200 grams. The weight of mass of open-dried soil is 175 grams. Therefore, the hygroscopic moisture content is Given in the problem, our weight of air-dried soil, 200 grams. Weight of mass of open-dried soil, 175 grams. The given formula for the hygroscopic moisture content is equal to mass of water over mass of soil. Solving for the mass of water, that was equal to the mass of air-dried soil minus mass of oven-dried soil, which is 200 grams minus 175 grams equal to 25 grams. Solving for the value of the hygroscopic moisture content, that was equal to the mass of water, 25 grams, over mass of open dried soil, 175 grams, multiplied by 100%, which is equal to 14.29%. Therefore, the answer is letter A, 14.29%. Number 4. Which is not included in liquid limit determination? Ang kakaibang term dito sa choices ay yung letter C, extruder. I-define natin kung ano yung extruder. It is used to remove specimens from proctor, CBR, and martial modes. Then we are now sure that this equipment is not being used in liquid limit determination. Therefore, the answer is letter C, extruder. Number 5. Liquid limit of unsuitable material exceeds Based from DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 104.2 Unsuitable materials are material other than suitable materials such as, letter C, soil with liquid limit exceeding 80%. Therefore, the answer is letter A, 80%. Number 6, plastic limit of unsuitable material exceeds, going back to DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 104.2, unsuitable material are material other than suitable materials such as, plasticity index, exceeding 55%. Therefore, the answer is letter B. Number 7. Percent compaction of ordinary common soil. Based from DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 104.3.3, the contractor shall compact the material placed in all embankment layers and the material is carried by to the designated depth below subgrade in cut sections. 
until a uniform density of not less than 95 mass percent of the maximum dry density. Therefore, the answer is letter B, 95%. Number 8. The following data refer to a control test in the field to measure the density of compacted soil excavated from a pit, which having a weight of 450 grams. Weight of sand required to fill the pit is equal to 412 grams. Bulk density of the sand is equal to 1.45 gram per cubic centimeter, and the water content of the soil is 12.5% grams. The following are the given in the problem. Weight of soil excavated from pit is 450 grams, water content of soil is 12.5%, and for the sand, weight of sand to fill the pit is 412 grams, and bulk density of the sand is 1.45 grams per cubic centimeter. First, we need to calculate for the volume of pit, having a formula of mass of sand in hole over density of pure sand. The mass of sand in hole is equal to 412 grams and its density is equal to 1.45 gram per cubic centimeter. Therefore, the volume of pit is equal to 284.138 cubic centimeter. Next, i-calculate naman natin yung wet density ng soil, having a formula of weight of excavated soil over volume of hole. The weight of excavated soil is equal to 450 grams and our calculated volume of hole is equal to 284.138 cubic centimeter. Therefore, the wet density of the soil is equal to 1.584 gram per cubic centimeter. And lastly, solving for the dry density of the soil, having a formula of wet density multiplied by 100 over moisture content of the soil plus 100. As we calculated, the wet density of the soil is equal to 1.584 gram per cubic centimeter multiplied by 100. And the moisture content or water content of soil is equal to 12.5 plus 100. And the value of the dry density of the soil is equal to 1.41 gram per cubic centimeter. And the answer is letter A, 1.41 gram per cc. Number 9. Suppose in problem number 8, the laboratory dry density is equal to 1.38 gram per cc. The field compaction is, the given in the problem are, laboratory dry density, 1.38 gram per cubic centimeter. And from problem number 8, the dry density is 1.41 gram per cubic centimeter, which is obtained from the field using field density test. And the formula for the field compaction is, field dry density over laboratory dry density multiplied by 100%. From problem number 8, the field dry density is 1.41 gram per cubic centimeter. And from this problem, the given laboratory dry density is 1.38 gram per cubic centimeter multiplied by 100% is equal to 102.17%. Therefore, the answer is letter D, 102.17%. Number 10. If the soil is compacted with higher compactive effort, the curve will move up and to the left. This means that the ang tinutukoy sa problem na to ay yung compaction test or the proctor test na tinatawag. And this is the shape of the proctor curve or the moisture density curve. Habang nag increase tayo ng compaction effort, nag increase yung dry density ng soil. At habang nag increase yung moisture content ng soil, the curve will move to the right. At kapag nagdi-decrease naman yung moisture content ng soil, the curve will move to the left. As stated in the problem, the curve will move up and to the left. This means, based on the curve, the optimum moisture will decrease and the maximum dry density will increase. Watch the next video for part 2.